Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And the question I get very often in the past two weeks is, um, you know, we're still th three years away from the Windows 10, um, you know, end of support, which will be at the end of 2025. But there's still a lot of people asking themselves, yeah, but, you know, uh, what's going to happen to all those um, updates, those those machines um, that can't update to Windows 11? And, um, you know, of course, there's always the question of people saying, well, you know, will there be some um, extended support? Will there be uh, what, what could happen? Um, you know, what's interesting right now is, of course, the uh, number of machines that are updating. What we know is that Windows 11's adoption rate isn't that great right now. Um, and we are three years away, and in three years, many things can change, especially if we have the rumored Windows 12 that some people are talking about. Um, you've got to think about something. Um, when you think about you know time of of an operating system, um, and and the computers that are not compatible, and it's that a lot of Windows 10 computers are already quite old. There's a lot of them out there that are you know more than five years old, and some of them are close to ten years old depending on the computers, uh, add three years to that. And um, a lot of them, a lot of them will have been, you know, upgraded to newer machines. Um, you know, we always say in Windows that the majority of people that upgrade to a system buy a new computer. And it's it's true. Um, the number of people that like us will, you know, go and jump on the upgrade process and, and install it are minimal. We are tech enthusiasts. We are different kind of people, different kind of Windows user. Um, when that arrives, you know, there's going to be part of the systems that are going to be updated are going to be updated because you're probably going to have Microsoft will gladly put some kind of nagging screen saying that, oh, by the way, by the end of this year, your computer will be, you know, end of support for Windows 10, and you're not compatible with Windows 11, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, that definitely is going to happen. That will push some users to buy a new PC. Definitely. Um, it happened every time a new system. Um, you know, you get, people don't are, are used to something that, that wasn't the case before. People are used to the fact that Windows 10 became a operating system that was there to kind of have Microsoft push people off of Windows 11, Windows 8, a lot of them. And so gave away Windows 10 for Windows 7, Windows 8 users. They wanted as many people to just move on. And that created one unique moment in the PC industry is that it created a very long time period where computers could upgrade to the latest operating system. Remember that when Windows 95, 98, Windows XP, Windows 7 came through, a lot of those machines and the minimum requirements, minimum requirements were moving on. And uh, people were buying new PCs to move on to a new system every time. That was the way it worked. And then we had this time frame now, this time period where we've been using and you've been able to use your same computer for the past 10 years by moving it from Windows 7 to Windows 10. And so people lost the idea that when Windows was moving forward, if most people bought a new PC because your old PC was just not good enough for it. So uh, that explains part of why Windows 11's minimum requirement is making a lot of people crazy because they're not used to that. And we have to accept the fact that Windows 11's minimum requirement is 
purely, you know, something they, they've pretty much invented and said, well, this is the minimum requirement. But by the time we get to 2025, a lot of the people will have moved on. Not everyone, that's for sure, but a lot of people will have machines compatible with Windows 11 or already have Windows 11, and that will be the case because a lot of people will purchase new PCs. Uh, there's a lot of people on Windows 10, and it's there's something that's going to happen maybe in the next couple of years that is uh, unique. We had one time, one time in all of the Windows history, we had one Windows system that was extended because it was still too many people on it to end support. It was Windows XP. They've extended Windows XP a little longer. Uh, but well, that could that happen to Windows 10? I don't know. Yeah, Microsoft, you know, doesn't say anything, and for sure they want us to move on. Could it happen? I guess Microsoft could back off and say, well, let's give another year because there's still too many people in 2025 on Windows 10. you got to remember one thing. Windows 10 is the operating system that became the most popular ever. No other Windows before it had so many users. So that's going to create an interesting pressure uh, looking forward. But in the case where we will say that Microsoft will not change its mind, um, what's going to happen is a lot of the PCs will have been purchased compatible Windows 11 or with Windows 11 in the next three years. So there's going to be a lot more people on Windows 11 and moving on capable of moving to Windows 11. There'll be some enthusiasts that will have an older PC not compatible. And I do think that in 2025 that way of installing Windows 11 in the un supported computer will still continue to work which means there will be a subset of users with an older computer but moved on to windows 11 with the little tricks of you know removing the requirements for minimum uh, for support for end of support or for um, um, supported hardware sorry um, and you got to take in the account maybe a possible Windows 12 in there and all of that, but uh, definitely, you know, moving on, there will be some people left behind. There will be some people that might not have the money to buy a new computer. Uh, that definitely will happen, and um, it's going to be an interesting moment. Um, and for that, I think what we'll need mostly is to check out the numbers, the market share numbers of Windows 11 in the next, you know, months and in the next couple of years, uh, possible announcements of a Windows 12, what's going to happen with that, and uh, see how many people have compatible machines as, as time goes by. Um, that's that's going to be interesting to see. And there's a lot of unknowns because we're in kind of a interesting moment where it's a little different than in the past. So year after year, we'll have to take a look. And uh, of course, this channel will take a look at that as time goes by. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.